In John 3, Yeshua says he speaks what he knows and testifies what he has seen before comparing himself to the bronze serpent that Moses lifted up in the wilderness. But why would he compare himself to a serpent, a creature that pretty much always gets a bad rap? In parts 1 and 5 of my spiritual warfare series, I dive into the Hebrew word nakash, which means divination, serpent, and bronze. And in this passage, we see all three meanings. So to fully understand this analogy, let's briefly look at these words again. Divination refers to diligently observing someone's actions and the words they speak to use it to your advantage. And usually this is employed as a deception tactic or to trap someone. But of course, this is not the case with Yeshua. Instead, he diligently observed the actions and words of his father and came to earth to perform and testify what he has seen and heard to the lost sheep of the house of Israel for their benefit as well as all who would heed his words. The serpent represents the will of man specifically when it opposes the will of God. And before the crucifixion, Yeshua prayed three times for his cup to be taken from him. So it is clear that he did not want to go to the cross. But the bronze represents knowledge. And Yeshua knew his father's plan of salvation culminated at the cross as foreshadowed with the fiery serpent that Moses made. And although he didn't want to do it, when his father didn't change his mind, he resolves not my will, but thy will be done. And in surrendering and going to the cross, that knowledge of salvation is perfected, just like burnished bronze that has been purified in the fire. So the picture of the bronze serpent on a stake is a picture of crucifying our will through surrender to God's will. And Yeshua exemplified this in his life, which is the model for our salvation. So where Eve listened to the knowledge of the serpent, thinking it was wisdom, we are to look to the true wisdom of the burnished bronze serpent and live. This means we must be attentive to God's actions and words the same way Yeshua is, pick up our cross and follow him. When those outer serpents start biting us and that inner serpent wants to side with them, we have to crucify the beast within and prove ourselves not to be beasts, but children of God through obedience unto eternal life.